Hello, internet friends. Today we are going to take a look at how to properly check and adjust the chain tension on a 2019 Honda Africa Twin right now on Explore Adventure Moto from the garage. While it is on the center stand, if you have one or a hoist or a lift or whatever, the very first thing you want to do is you want to measure the distance in between your rear axle and the countershaft sprocket. Then you divide that by two to find the center point and you measure that out and you make a mark on your swing arm. And my mark I had done in black ink and then later in a white paint pen. So my halfway point is right here. This is where you're gonna check your tension from. That is where you're gonna set your tape measure at so you can get the right measurement. If you have a center stand, it makes it uh, easier to make a mark. Do not check your chain tension on an Africa Twin while it is on the center stand. Even the book will tell you, you should be on the side stand to properly check the chain tension. Yes, I said tape measure. We're doing this with simple tools for checking chain tension. There are all kinds of fancy tools out there that you can get uh, measurements quicker. There's laser guides that you can set on the chain to make sure that the alignment is correct when you retighten it and everything. I don't have any of that. I've never ordered any of that. Um, I've always done this on various bikes just with basic hand tools. That's all you need. You don't have to go out and spend a bunch of money on the gadgets. You're just doing this. You're pushing up and you're pushing down just a little bit. You're not really putting a lot of tension on it, right? And you need to measure what that measurement is from here to here. My tension is already set on this bike. I'm just gonna go through the process. On a 2019 Africa Twin, any Africa Twin, I think, that has the chain guard, your free play tension indicator is right there. Your chain should have about 40 millimeters of free play. That equates to an inch and five eighths for the empirical crowd. It's a Honda, it's Japanese, MMs. I have the bottom of my swing arm on the seven inch mark. So it doesn't quite touch there. So without pressing down on it, it's right at an inch and five eighths. I can press down on it and get it to just a bit over an inch and three quarters. So technically I am just a tiny bit loose. I will note that this chain and sprocket set is the original OEM that came with the bike. And I have 20,000 miles on the bike, 20,000 miles on this chain and sprocket. And as you can see, the sprocket is not shark toothed. The chain itself still has plenty of adjustment left on the back of the swing arm. And there isn't a lot of rust on it and I have not lost any O-rings yet to adjust the chain. And I'm gonna be dad splaining here a little bit. We need to loosen the, the 27 millimeter nut on this side of the axle. This is a 22. This one is attached to the axle. I, it's gotten to the point where I don't need to hold this one with the wrench at all. I just need to use my uh, crescent wrench on the other side and undo the nut enough. This nut is a 12 millimeter. This bolt is a 10 millimeter. And this is your actual adjustment. One thing I will say is that when I do this, I always try to use the tools that I will have with me on the trail. So I can be sure that if something were to happen and I had to change a tube or something's going funky, I can still get the wheels off with what I have with me. Now I'm gonna take my 12, and I'm going to loosen the lock bolt. And since I'm just a tad loose, I'm gonna wind, I'm gonna take the 10 millimeter, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna wind this so it pushes the axle backwards. It's like a quarter turn is all I really need. You wanna do both sides the exact same amount so you keep the alignment of the rear wheel correct. The reason why you do that is to keep the chain aligned so it doesn't prematurely wear. So it's not trying to do this, this number. Also, so your brake pads, so the disc can set straight in your brake pads. You also, if you don't set your alignment, you can prematurely wear out your wheel bearings. 
And while you're riding down the road, if your rear wheel is out of alignment, it's going to feel almost like you have a flat tire a little bit. Now that we've done that, we're coming back to the other side to check the tension again. And I can already tell that it has changed just probably just about the right amount. We can tighten up the axle nut on the other side, and then we're going to tighten these lock nuts down. There is a torque spec for this nut for the rear axle. I have torqued it before just to feel what the tension is, so now I just kind of do it strong arm until I'm getting in that general tension. If you're a serious OEM spec snob, then feel free to go ahead and torque that down. Um, but I would offer the opinion of how often are you going to have your torque wrench on the trail? We're going to hold the 10 millimeter so it doesn't move while we tighten up that lock nut. That side's done. When you get everything tightened back down, always check your tension one more time to see if it moved at all, just in case. We go up, we go up to where the chain stops. Use the seven. Tension is set properly. Paying attention to your chain on the wear, not just the chain, but the sprockets, and the chain tension will go a long way to your enjoyment of your motorcycle in all kinds of conditions. Make sure you check your chain tension often. I check it probably every couple of rides. If I'm on a longer trip, a multi-day ride, I will check it throughout the ride as well. My multi-day trips typically involve off-road as much as possible. That's just what I like to do. And that's going to generally stretch out your chain a little bit while you're out there. Make sure you're checking and adjusting while you're out there also. Do it in as clean of conditions as you can. You're not going to have a um, unorganized but cleanish garage like this one takes place in. Just do what you can to minimize dirt and stuff like that getting onto your chain. That has been Explore Adventure Moto from the garage. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you like what you see, please share this video with others. There's a little share icon down below. Copy the link and send it to, you know, whoever. Give this video a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Thanks for hanging out with me today in the garage. My name's Travis. Stay hairy.